Um, talk to my YouTube friends. Uh, after talking to Karen Swain and the other authors, I got to thinking, you know, it's amazing how many things are options, options are available here that um, people can do because there's like Cyrus and he's doing astral projection into a second earth. And um, the other gentleman was going out with his spirit guide and, and seeing all these different things that he could see. And um, the other lady, lady was talking to her mother who had passed away and, and asking all these cool questions and getting all these cool answers. And, uh, you know, the only thing that I want to say is that I wish people would be more open to other people's experience, that they're all true. You know, there there is the second earth. There is a hollow earth. There is a flat earth. There are multiple dimensions. There are ghosts that you can talk to. There are entities, all kinds of people and entities in space that look and feel just like you and, and other ones that are on different dimensions that you can't see in human form. And there's all of these other games that are outside of this creation. And all of those games can interact with other games. There is so much, you know, I, I'm going to have Stephanie put up on the website. She's, she's collecting a few things and putting them up there for me now. It's like they just found a lionfish that was the same size as the largest whale. This is new. This is new. Physically on your planet that you didn't know about before. And they're always finding these new um, plants and animals, insects, beans that nobody knew existed. How long have people been recording that information? But you're still finding stuff that you don't know exists here that are amazing. You're still a long ways away from understanding how the brain works and how the heart works and, and how everything is run and how that energy flows. Long ways away. There's all this data that nobody knows yet. All of these different things that these people are doing, um, the reason why I just I don't go, go get into them or, or go watch them much is I just feel this energy of, you know, I've had this experience and this is the way it is. Like it's the only way that it is. Like it's the only option out there. It's the only perspective that you can see from. But you can see that if you astral project after a human body versus um, leaving this game altogether, the perspectives are, are quite different. That's like asking, okay, what does the earth look like from an ant's point of view versus an eagle's? Both of them will describe the truth, but it will sound and look very, very much like they're not even on the same place, even though they are in the same place. And that's the truth with all of these people that have the channel or astral project or NDEs or meditative states going into an altered state of awareness or even um, the plants or drugs that take people to these alternate states, these other places that you can't see with these little five senses on a human being. I wish and what I'm visualizing is all these people with all these cool experiences will share them. Not like, okay, my way is the only way and you need to do it this way. And this is the perspective only that makes sense and is real, but rather here's my way. Let's add it to the pool. And let's share. Mine is this. Yours is that. I think that's what Karen is doing with her book series. Is trying to get all this together. I call Karen is like a, a she's a esoteric uh, journalist. You know, one of the real old timey uh, esoteric journalists. Where she goes and she finds people and gets their perspective with no judgment whatsoever and does interviews and shares them with people. And she's so interested in what these different perspectives are. I love Karen's um, demeanor, her vibration, and how she she listens to all these different perspectives, different beings that are, uh, you might, these beings may have a connection with uh, Pleiadians and have a perspective from there of what they want their experience to look like and be like and where they're headed and how wonderful that is to support all of them instead of there being this kind of 
I don't know, competition, but it's just common for humans. But I'll be really glad to raise up the vibrations and get in a place where there's not that competition, where competition, which is based on fear, gives way to curiosity and sharing. In 5D, that's what we're looking for. That's what I'm looking for, is curiosity and sharing. I want to know what your perspective is. Once you wake up, I want to know how that process happened for you because you are going to wake up in a very unique way to you. Everybody's different. And it'll get high enough and lose the fear and the competition and the judgment and going, oh, no, 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 no. I know. Because when you have one of these experiences, like I've said before, you're not ever going to tell me or convince me that what I experienced, what I know, what I see, what I came back with wasn't real, wasn't true. It'll never work. You'll, you know, you could torture me. You could offer me big money. I might say it, but I will never believe it. Because it is more real than here is. By far. But world's more we real than here is right and so i'm pretty sure everybody that has an experience that is unique and out there they believe the same thing that you cannot go change your mind that that's their experience if you had somebody who died and went to one of the hells that i described and then came back there is no doubt in my mind that they would fight to the death that that was a real hell created by god and they were paying the price for their sins and i will never ever fight or interfere with anybody's game and anyone's belief. If, if you want to believe that that perspective is the only perspective, then I won't get in the way and change that thinking. But I will be glad when everyone changes that thinking and understands that there are so many different perspectives. That simply a human being looking on one side of the apple and the other, the other side of the apple describing two different things, that is perspective and everybody has one. And whether or not you're experiencing it through a channel situation, an NDE, um, astral projection, whatever, jumping on somebody else's spaceship, whatever, that there are so many different perspectives with so many different timelines and dimensions and each individual person, it's just amazing the experiences and the diversity that we all have. And when we get to the point where it's, I want to know what yours is, not have one like me or you've got to follow my way or I'm the only one that's right and the rest of you are full of shit and you're just going to fail instead of that we've got wow wasn't that cool what was yours like and a sharing of that that we are all one and we will eventually get to that point but I am I will be very very glad whenever we get to that point uh, sooner than later sooner than later because that competition over this this ascension stuff is just crazy. It's just craziness. It's the same thing that humans have been, been doing for a long time, but I'll be glad whenever it's gone. I, I want to share. I want to share what your perspective is. Okay, I want to share what your, what your path is, how you've done it, what led you there. All right, anyway, just a short bit on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's share perspectives instead of judging and trying to hammer somebody else into your way. I want to visualize that timeline with that collective consciousness. All right, that's it on this one. Huge hugs. I love you bunches and bunches, and I'll see you later. Bye now.